I am Jennifer Roberts and I live in Florianopolis, Brazil. We moved there, my family and I, to start a house of prayer. We were in Kansas City for 15 years and we've moved to Brazil nine months ago and we're hoping to see a house of prayer established in beautiful Florianopolis. We're super excited to be there. I am a woman, so I feel like I have particular insight into the subject. Um, but, you know, I didn't always like women. I was raised in a family with five older brothers, and so there were issues surrounding me understanding the fact that I was a woman. Everything was about don't throw the ball like a girl, don't cry like a girl. So I learned to imitate men. It seemed like they got the better end of the stick, and to be a girl almost seemed like a negative thing. And I kind of came into my walk with the Lord with a, a, a negative thought about womanhood. And then I realized that both men and women are created in the image of God. And I, I started to, to think about that and, and ponder that. And I wanted to be able to express the image of God in the frame of womanhood. So it's going to, it's equal to the frame of a man being created in the image of God, but it's different to the expression of a man. And so I've seen a lot of women, they have a leadership call, but then they begin to express it as a man would express it. And women are different. We express things differently. We have a different vantage point. We have a different frame. Now, does that mean I don't believe women can be leaders? Absolutely not. I believe that a woman can lead. But I want to see women comfortable in their womanhood. And they don't have to become masculine to be able to express their God-given gifts. They are able to do it in the context of being created as a woman. And so, I want women comfortable with themselves. I want to see the diversity of women come forth. See, I, I kind of had an idea that to be a woman, I had to like certain things, I had to say things just a certain way, and I, I didn't relate to it. I, I would go to a women's conference and I, I didn't get it, I didn't enjoy it. It wasn't my personality, but I felt like, what's wrong with me if I don't like those things? And now I'm realizing, no, we, we can, as women, can express who we are in God, and it doesn't have to look the same, and in fact, it shouldn't look the same. So I believe that a woman can be the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, she can you know, work in a preschool, she can be a mechanic if she wants, who cares? And so I wanna see women come forward, young women, old women, medium women, if that's such a thing, knowing who they are in God, that their primary identity is the fact that you are loved by God, that you bear His image, and that you get to express His heart in the frame of your gender. So now all of a sudden, the fact that I'm a woman becomes sovereign. It's not, oh, I'm just 50% of the population. No, God chose me to be a woman. So as a woman, I want to honor Him. As a woman, I want to bring glory to His name. As a woman, I want to celebrate the diversity of womanhood. You know, I think the, the role of, of womanhood in the kingdom of God is it's, it's complex and it's diverse and it means something different to a lot of different people. I think primarily we are created both male and female in the image of God. So as a woman, I express the image of God in the, the feminine frame that I carry. And so how is that going to be expressed? Well, it's going to be expressed uh, in, in the way that God has created individuals. So now I can, I, can, uh, I can be an accountant, I can be a stay-at-home mom, I can be a, a school teacher, and all of that is, is about learning how to access the, the image of God in me as a woman and bring Him glory in various arenas, various areas of function, but I think even broader than that, as women, we have a unique frame in which that we can carry the heart of God. 
And so I, I really hate generalizations and I hate this is a character of man and this is a character of woman because sometimes you can feel just um, closed in with descriptions, but there are some generalizations about women and generalizations about men that are typically true. So, you know, I, I am going to hear uh, God's voice in a way that my husband hears it differently. I'm going to process it in a way that my husband would, would hear it differently. I'm going to respond with my emotions maybe before I respond with the facts, if that makes sense. But I think the, the overarching theme for a woman is that we stand before Jesus one day and He's going to ask us how did we live our life and how do we grow in love, in love towards Him and love towards people. And it, the, the unique role that I see that women have is we function in many different, in many different ways. You know, you're, you're single and then you're married and then you're married with children. And so your life has some stop and start elements to it. And so I remember when I went from being a married woman to being uh, a married woman with children, my identity was a little bit shaken, a little bit frazzled because I didn't function in the same way that I did before. I did less work and more staying at home with my baby. And I went, ah, is this valid anymore? And God, do you still care about me? Is this okay that, that, I, that I'm with my baby? I wanna do the radical stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take the nations. And I, I misunderstood who I was and thought it was only about how I functioned. And so I want to say to women, if you find your identity in the love of God, who He says you are, and who you are before Him, you'll be successful all your life. So whether you're a CEO or whether you stay at home with your children for years and years, your primary identity is to learn to love God with all of your heart all the days of your life. And so when I think about womanhood, I think about the opportunities I have as a woman to grow in God in various seasons that I find myself in. So when I'm single, I'm going to find Him in a different way than when I'm married. And when I have children, I'm going to find Him in a different way than before I had children. But the goal of my life as a woman is to continue to find Him like to continue to seek after Him, to continue to reach for Him all the days of my life.